it's time for a fresh approach and a new perspective and find the Chevy that's right for you. Find new experiences, find new roads. Chevrolet. Hey, 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 it's Missouri Sports Network, MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. Certainly glad that you have tuned in today. As always, Lyona Labor's Local 663 reminds us to drive safely in those work zones. Those folks want to go home to their families as well. Also presented by Doak Propane. For all your propane needs, see the folks at Doak. Also, Bank of Billings. The Bank of Billings was established in 1889. It is the oldest bank in Christian County. It's time for, once again for our Chevy. There's the Ozarks Athlete of the Week presented by the Missouri State Highway Patrol. We go to Grain Valley High School and Grain Valley Head Volleyball Coach Tori Squires. Coach Squires, thanks so much for your time today. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. Coach, uh, tell us a little bit about the season up to this point uh, for your team and uh, what, what the record is and uh, what the expectations are coming into the season. Yeah, so this season uh, we are a little bit younger. Uh, we graduated eight seniors last year. So um, big, big changes this year uh, within our season, within our group of kids. Uh, we are currently 11 and 9. We did strengthen our schedule a little bit this year. We joined some tougher uh, tougher tournaments. Um, our conference has been pretty challenging throughout the season, which is great going into um, the postseason here in sh four short weeks. Um, you know, we are very lucky with this group of girls, though. Every loss that we have had, we are in every single set. We are in every single match. Um, they do not give up. They have a lot of desire to win, and that's going to take us a long way as we continue to improve our skills. And um, even last night we played uh, Truman, who is a very tough school around our area, Truman High School out of Independence. And we've lost to them already twice earlier this season, and we turned around and we beat them last night. And so, you know, we're, we're just continuing to, to grow our skill level um, and grow together as a team as we are a little bit younger this season. Coach, as you mentioned, you're, you're about 60, maybe almost 70 percent of the way through the season. What do you feel like uh, right now your team is doing well? Uh, we are coming together as I mean, as a whole, um, they're overcoming some adversity and taking on challenges. They, they want to accept new challenges. And I think that that's that's hard to build within a program sometimes. Um, you know, making sure that everyone's staying positive at all times. And, you know, this time of the year always can be very difficult for that. So, you know, taking that turn last night just shows that that we're ready as the postseason comes closer. Kind of handicap your conference a little bit. Uh, you know, folks from around the state are tuning into this and they may not know what conference you're a member of and who are some of the other teams that are in that conference and kind of where do you fit in there in your conference? Yeah, so we're a uh, part of the Kansas City Suburban Conference. Um, the white, the white class is what's called. There's a yellow, red. You know, you know, there's a bunch of sections to it. And so, we've got um, Ruskin, Raytown, Truman, William Christman, Platte County, Belton, Fort Osage, and then Grain Valley. So there are eight schools in our conference. We play all of them twice. Um, that this is a, a new conference this year as well. Um, some new teams have been added back in. Uh, it's kind of it's changed over the years a few different times, but it's a pretty challenging conference. And so right now we're sitting about five and three in conference. Coach, as you look at that at your district here coming up towards the end of the year, it's, you know, that class five, district five, nine teams are members of that. Do you get to see most of those teams that are in your district at some point? We try to. We try to do our best to do that. <clears throat> um, Blue Blue Springs and Blue Springs South are neighboring schools to us, and they are both in our our district. Um, we're kind of in a in a weird spot with our school population wise, where we are not high enough in population to be in that bigger conference in our area, but we are for our class size in districts. So we do compete against those higher level schools in districts, and so. We try to make it a point to add those schools into our schedule throughout the season. 
Um, whenever we do go to districts, it will be kind of more towards the Columbia area. So we'll see a lot of Columbia schools that we haven't really got to see a ton throughout the season yet. Outstanding. As I mentioned, this is the Chevy dealers of the Ozarks uh, Athlete of the Week segment presented by the Missouri State Highway Patrol. And you've got a young lady uh, sitting next to you that's kind of maybe rewriting the record book uh, there at Grain Valley. Tell us a little bit about uh, Kayla Gallagher. Yeah, so Kayla Gallagher is here today. She is a senior at Grain Valley High School. She has been a varsity starter since her freshman year. Uh, she took over an all-around six rotational position her sophomore year and um, has been a team captain since her sophomore year as well. So Kayla serves a big role in our program um, and on the team as well. She brings a hammer of an arm, um, has set a school record her junior year for season kills and has now taken a new school record this season for career kills and is continuing to add to that. So she has been a huge part of our program. Kayla, how are you today? I'm amazing. How are you? Very good. Very good. Uh, before I go any further, um, I am a mandated reporter. So my first question uh, is, do you always wear your seatbelt? I, I do. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Well, on behalf of Chevrolet uh, and the Missouri State Highway Patrol, uh, congratulations for being at Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks Athlete of the Week. Thank you. Now, going into the Fort Osage game on the 16th uh, of you know, this last week, were you – uh, were you aware that you were approaching that that career record in kills? Um, I knew I was going to hit it at some point, but I did not know at the time that I was that close, no. So who was the first person that, that made you aware of it? <laughs> the student section. All of the younger girls <clears throat> on, like, the JV and C team had signs, and I hit the ball, and bam, I turn around, and they're all over there cheering and jumping and screaming with the signs. Going back to your freshman year, do you remember your first kill? Um, yeah, actually I do, because turning like turning around to get to our huddle, everybody is like screaming and cheering. And then out of nowhere, we hear all the guys in the student section go, she's a freshman. And it was just like so surreal to like be on the court with all of those girls at such a young age with people that I looked up to. And like, you know, it was just so amazing. What, uh, what got you involved with volleyball going back in, obviously, very young? Was it a family member? Um, was it, I mean, who got you involved and, and why, or why, are you, why are you so um, enamored with this game? Um, yeah, I started volleyball when I was eight, and my mom got me into that. My mom and her best friend and uh, her best friend's daughter um, put us into, like, a community center league. So we were playing out of like a B vaccine and it was like instant. Like I knew I loved it. And then just from there on, I grew and developed at a high level and moved to club and played club for a really long time. And then just throughout throughout the years, I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the people that I met through it. I've grown so much through it. I've created amazing relationships and friendships with people. Like I just... I wouldn't change it any other sport. Again, visiting with our Chevy leaders of the Ozarks Athlete of the Week, presented by the Missouri State Highway Patrol, Grand Valley Volleyball player Kayla Gallagher. Kayla, if, if you could somehow get in a time machine and go back to that 11, 12, 13-year-old Kayla Gallagher and give yourself some advice based on what you know now, what advice would you go back and share with that, that junior high athlete, what would you tell yourself? Um, that the work is shown, that you put in all that work and you don't just put it in to put it in, you put in that work to for it to be shown and you are showing it right now. And um, that even if you went through mental struggles, like you are at the place where you believed you would be and you have made it further than you would have thought, ever thought. So I just, I would t encourage her to, you know, work harder than she is, work, like, just see herself as bigger than she even believes because she is able to make it that far, and she has. Outstanding. Now, you you are a senior. 
What uh, <laughs> what plans, if any, have you made for next year? Um, I'm committed to Bemidji State in Minnesota to play D2 volleyball. And um, up there, I'm going to study wildlife biology and aquatics biology to hopefully become a marine biologist. Is there a background in your family? Why, why that field? What, uh, what, what led you to that? Um, I just grew up really loving nature and loving science. And so it's just kind of always been something that I wanted to do. I've always wanted to work with animals and nature and all of that stuff. So. Well, outstanding. Well, again, on behalf of the Chevy dealers of the Ozarks and the Missouri State Highway Patrol, congratulations on being named uh, a Chevy dealers of the Ozarks <laughs> athlete of the week. Thank you. <laughs> the lights went out. <laughs> Coach. Uh, I mic drop. <laughs> yeah. Coach, uh, Coach Wires, I greatly appreciate you helping set this up. And, uh, you know, good luck as you go forward here. And you're coming out of the Lee Summit West Tournament. Then you've got, uh, like I said, you defeated Truman here last night. Then you've got uh, an undefeated belt team, it looks like, coming up on Tuesday. But uh, congratulations on the start to this season. And, again, Kayla, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. You're watching the Missouri Sports Network at MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone – has a home field advantage. And as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol remind us, hey, take that three seconds and buckle up. It's three seconds and it could save your life. Be safe, be smart, and be here tomorrow.